Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mercedes Michelle. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's going to be a house update video. I've been in my home nine months now, a little over nine months, and I thought that I would have this home decorated and decked out in six months, and yeah, I was definitely wrong but I definitely wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed let you guys know where I'm at what my thoughts are on decorating this house and giving you guys a full-on house tour of some of the rooms that you have not seen already so I have a video on my living room I have a video on my master bedroom you guys can go and check out those videos we won't touch on those even though they're still not finished but those videos will come later down the line once we actually get those rooms finished so with that said a lot has been going on I purchased a new construction home nine months ago but there have been contractors in and out my house just doing updates doing replacements doing repairs all of that good stuff a lot of people think you buy a new construction home it comes already made put together everything's perfect and that is the furthest thing from the truth so even till today I still have contractors in and out my house just doing repairs fixing things and yeah they gave me a year to get all of that stuff taken care of that the builder would repair and take care of so I am coming up on that one year so now that my house has settled it's went through winter it's went through summer now it's time to get like the cracks in the drywall and all of that stuff patched up so that I can start to paint I can start to put up wallpaper all of that good stuff so I'm excited about that but outside of that budgeting making sure I'm staying on top of my budget when it comes to home decor because it gets expensive and I literally had to furnish this entire home from scratch because I did not bring much from my apartment so that means the last room had to be furnished my room the living room you know all of that good stuff had to be furnished the guest bedroom we're not even gonna get into that because it's like a storage room at this time but outside of that you know I have made some progress and that's what I want to show you guys in those rooms that you haven't already seen kind of take you through each room what my plans are and what's done or is almost complete should I say so yeah let's get into the video okay so since we are already in this room let's go ahead and start with this room it's a little messy but at least you know i'm utilizing it and it's not just for show here so this is my beauty slash youtube room and this was one of the first rooms that i pretty much completed but i have a whole separate video on this room as well and pretty much it is complete i just want to get like a new couch i want to get rid of this big black couch because it's just too big for this room and it takes up too much space but outside of that I feel like this room is like 90% complete I don't see myself changing it I have my light fixture that I got for this room off Amazon the wallpaper is also from Amazon the picture frames are from Walmart I just made the picture printouts on walmart.com and I spray painted the actual picture frames that shelf that's on this wall here is from home goods the picture frame is a DIY of the Chanel perfume bottle and then that Chanel bag is also a DIY so pretty much was super easy for me to do this room because most of the furniture in here I already had from my old apartment so this was basically all the furniture that I had in my old apartment I just put it in here I do want to add some shelving to here so that I'll have more space so these doors here I kind of want to paint them pink <laughs> like another accent wall so that I have different areas to film on but I kind of want to make paint these like the powder pink same as the pictures and then change out the knobs I don't know though let me know what you guys think I feel like it's an easy project and it can easily be turned back to whatever color if I do decide to sell the home next up which the lighting in here is a very yellow I could change out those bulbs but we'll see so 
first thing first <laughs> no mirror here the mirror that was here i took it off you can kind of see the patchy holes where that mirror was it was just a big square mirror nothing fancy about it no border no trim anything just all mirror so the mirror that was actually in my beauty room sitting on the floor is the mirror that i'm putting up in here i already have the bracket up i just have to put it up there and then my light fixture if you guys watched the house update where i showed you the fixture changes this is the fixture that i put in this bathroom it is a brassy gold fixture with the um raindrop glass pendants i don't know what to call it and i got this off of amazon now i also changed the fountain fixture in this bathroom as well i also ordered that off of amazon now for the actual countertop this countertop has to be replaced and this is the new countertop but it's like a off-white cream beige color and i don't really like it my cabinets in this bathroom are white white so i guess it's the contrast for them but i kind of want to do a diy since i don't really like this countertop don't plan on buying a new one anytime soon but i kind of want to do some epoxy on it and see how that looks but not the first thing on my list also changed out the knobs on the cabinet the gold is a little different from the brassy gold but they do for now and i got those off of amazon as well now i do plan to change all of the hardware in this bathroom i call myself spray painting the towel rack and the towel holder in this towel holder but as you can see not a good job i ran out of spray paint <laughs> and then i still have the toilet paper holder that I need to change out as well. So I just plan to buy all new hardware for this bathroom and get that changed out. The only thing I do not plan to change is the actual hardware in the shower. I do plan to just keep that silver because it's gonna be hidden behind a shower curtain anyways. I need to find a new shower curtain uh, rod. I wanna do like a gold rod but i haven't found one yet and then on this wall i do plan to add some shelving to this wall but right now i just have a picture and then this vase sits on top of the toilet and then lastly i just have this trash can here that i got from target it's also just like a gold trash can and the carpets are from marshall's home goods ross one of those but I don't plan on keeping these carpets in here. I wanted to do like a very green, white, clean spa type of vibe in this bathroom, but no one uses it, so. Okay, so entry. Here is my entry table. It is just like this ghost acrylic entry table desk that I picked up from Home Goods. I had this in my last apartment. I thought about changing this, but I like that it doesn't look like anything's here. It's very clean, simple, and not a lot going on. That's what I wanted for this area. I don't need anything extra. I, I want simple and clean lines in my entry. I do plan to get two stools to go under, fill up that space. But so this box, um, I got this from Home Goods. The vase is also from Home Goods. If you watch my hauls haul videos, you would have seen some of these items. The pompous grass is from Crate and Barrel. This little lion head is from Ross. It's very blinged out, bedazzled. Don't know if it's staying on this table. I do plan to move it, but it's here for now because it doesn't have a home. And then I just have a white candle from Ross. That candle smell really good. And then I also have a candle in the bag. This is actually from my friends, Essential Vibes by Courtney. Oh my gosh, y'all, this candle smells so good. Like, you don't have to light it up. I haven't even lit, lit it up and you can smell it. So I just keep it in the entry because you can smell it. I need to put a little, um, I need to get like a candle holder for it 
to make it a little more cuter but it smells so good and then lastly the picture on the wall here is from Ross I like it I feel like it fits this area and I like this area to be like black white very neutral very clean and the light fixture I have here is definitely temporary so I plan to change out this light fixture I just haven't found the one that I really truly want this fixture is actually going to go in my closet but I haven't found one for this area I'm looking for something like modern glam clean and actually looks like it deserves to be in the entry this one is just it's not an entry light it doesn't do it for me okay so these two lights are from Amazon. Probably can't really see them, but they're just the same. Both of these are the same. If you watch my light fixture update video, then you would have seen these already. I got both of these off of Amazon. They're, they replaced the little bubble lights that were in here and I just needed something to get those out of here. They're very glam, crystal-like, so I don't know if I want them to match the light that I get for my entryway yet. I thought about doing pendant lights where they all like hang down and they all match. Maybe the one in the entry is bigger and these are a little smaller, but I'm not set on it, so I don't know. So this runner here is from Wayfair. It's a black white type of runner I know very white why did you do that but it just went with the theme the table that I want is like a marble top table that kind of has the same pattern so I love this carpet and I thought that it would work I haven't found the table that I want because I want a super long table but it's in my head I just can't find it anywhere and currently right now in this space i have this credenza it's not really my style it's very beautiful but just not my style more mod i like more modern sleek this is more like traditional type of piece i guess i don't know so that's very temporary and then i have this wall <laughs> that needs some something it needs something which i want to put like a large art piece on this wall um, Tiara Walker DIY is this beautiful canvas and I think that is like so perfect for this wall. I just know that mine probably won't turn out like that so I'm not in a rush. But that is the idea that I want for this wall. And then I have this wall here which I don't plan to do anything to. Just keep it plain and simple as is. However, so I have this wall that I plan to just put a large floor mirror on. And don't mind me, I'm washing clothes. And then here is another haul picture that I had. Um, got this one from Home Goods. And I just have this vase here, very temporary, you guys, because I don't know where to put it. I think I'll put it somewhere in my room, but just haven't gotten around to it. But this photo, I just, well, this picture I just put on this wall, this artwork. Now, this room, you guys, please do not judge me. Let me tell you, <laughs> my office was supposed to be one of the first rooms that I completed and it's literally a disaster. So this shelf unit that you see here first, this is, it's on its last leg. Like it's falling apart. It's been moved way too much and it's time to let it go. But it's in my office because I don't know, somebody come pick it up or come get it because I don't think the trash man will take it. But, um, it's in here for now. Haven't found a desk. I found a desk, but desks are so expensive. Nobody told me desks were this expensive. I found a, a desk that I want, but it's like, do you really, really, really want that desk? Because it's expensive. And then I have this desk in here that I got from Home Goods, and I had it in Malaya's room, but it was just too much, too cluttered. So I just brought it back in here. The curtains, y'all. I bought these off of Amazon. I purchased it for the living room, didn't like it. Tried to put it in here, see how I felt, don't like it. I feel like it may be that I have the four panels up, so taking away two may do it, 
but I just have to see what that looks like. Then I couldn't find a curtain rod that was long enough to go across these windows. So I had to buy two separate go curtain rods and I don't like that either. So as you can see, I've had a few dilemmas, but I also have work computers here that don't typically, don't aren't typically at my home. So I have this large table that they're sitting on because I don't have anything to put them on because I don't have a desk and it's just a mess. It's just filthy in here. I have paperwork everywhere, but I have this chair. If you watch my haul, this is the theme that I am going for. Theme for this room and then I want to add in some pink, some light pink. So the plan for this room is a desk in the middle with a laptop because that's what I work with on my main job and um, just everyday use, I have a laptop. Then I plan to do a seating area in front of the desk. So the desk is gonna be pushed a little further back where the shelf is, not too close to the window, but where the direct light comes onto the desk. Then I will have a seating area in front of the desk, either two stools or actual chairs, haven't decided. And then on this wall, I plan for this wall to actually be the accent wall in this room. So I want to paint it emerald green and add like some gold stripes or polka dots or something to the wall. But again, they have to come and fix the drywall. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. Let me see if it zooms in. No, so let's go closer. As you can see the cracks there, it doesn't want to zoom in for you guys. I don't know why, but. So outside of that, I have these doors that I'm thinking about I want to replace kind of, sort of, because I don't like the wood framing in between the glass. If it was just like a plain glass panel, then yes, maybe would have liked it, but I don't really like the style of these two doors, even though they're popular. And the accent wall being on this wall with some shelving. So I plan to put a shelf here and a shelf here. I seen some on CB2 that I am leaning towards for this space. And then I have, of course, this plain wall that I would probably just put some artwork on. I have that tree in here that I plan to keep in here. And then lastly, so it's the regular and cheap boob light. So my plan for this room is to get like a starburst gold fixture. That is what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, most likely. So that is the office space, you guys. So let's check out some other spaces so that we can wrap up this video. Table is a little dirty, so just excuse that. So this table, love my table. Again, don't really like my chairs. I plan to change these out to some black velvet chairs that I've seen. I thought about doing cream chairs, but I'm like, no, we're gonna use this table. The gray chairs get dirty, so I can only imagine what cream chairs would look like. So change that whole scheme up to black gold white for this kitchen and then this bothers me the back of the refrigerator sticking out so i want to get someone out here to see how much it would cost to kind of just enclose that refrigerator because it's out here on its own doing bad and it's just it's bothering it's bothering me <laughs> So those are really my only main things when it comes to this kitchen. I do have a window seat there. So my table's a little, a little further out from the window seat because of where the actual light falls. I needed to fall over my table. And if I move the table back, then that light is not gonna be centered. So if you guys can't hear me, I'm just gonna do a voiceover because I'm currently half closed in the dryer and washer. So this space is pretty plain Jane, as you can see, not a lot going on in here. I do plan to do some minor changes, nothing crazy. Um, it already has shelf shelving in here. I just plan to be more organized, fix it up, probably do something with that um, brown 
brown pole make it more modern my style because that's not my style um outside of that it's very small so there's nothing really in this space okay lastly we have my bathroom so this is the plan for this bathroom. I do plan to change out all the hardware since all of my hardware is exposed. You can see it. Um, excuse the towels up there. I need like something to go in there for the towels as well. So I have a lot to do with this bathroom. I plan to change all the hardware to matte black for this bathroom. I don't plan to do any major repairs as far as the tub because thinking about reselling just keep it as is a lot of people are not going to be extra like you a lot of people you know don't maybe like what you like so <laughs> i'm gonna keep all this the same i thought about redoing my shower because i wanted a seat in there like built in and i wasn't a fan of the gray tiling tiles tiles wasn't a fan of the gray tiles kind of wanted to do like more of a marble look but marble with this flooring may not look right so that's where i have to come in and use my thinking skills and be like okay you're it's not your forever home think about so <laughs> think about when someone comes in and wants to buy this home yes you may think it's nice but is everyone gonna think it's nice i have curtains up because this window scares me and yes it has window treatment on it but i just don't think it is efficient enough for me so i don't know what i plan to put up probably some blinds in this bathroom because a window in the bathroom just never been my thing hey y'all so on this side i have a mess i need to learn to clean off my vanity i do i really do but fixtures changing those from the silver to the matte black Handles doing the same handle pulls that I plan to do in my kitchen. So the long black pulls in here as well and then this mirror I wanted to change it, but it's like This is what I had in mind the two long black mirrors going all the way up light fixture either in between or on top, but I feel like that's just going to be a lot because this like, one light fixture that's all they gave me instead of doing like one fixture here one fixture there they just gave this one light fixture which it's annoying but those are things that i have to take in, into consideration when redesigning this bathroom so yeah and then this same countertop as the guest bathroom don't really love it but It'll do for now until I decide I want to change it or I decide I want to sell the house. Who knows? And then we have the bathroom. I mean, the toilet. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Just the toilet. So this space is very plain. The closet is a mess. It's a mess, yes. It's a mess. I started out trying to be organized and then yeah, it's a mess. And then my closet, which is even a even bigger mess. We we're gonna talk about it, but we're not I'm not even gonna show y'all the the bottom of the closet. I'm just gonna keep y'all up here because yeah, it look a mess. I'm not even gonna take y'all back there because it's a mess back there but i do plan to do like some type of custom closet here in this space it's just not top priority because i don't have a lot of clothes I have a lot of shoes that's why i'm not going to show y'all the bottom but i don't have a lot of clothes and stuff but i do need a dresser so i need this closet to at least get like a little small island dresser in here so that i can start folding up clothes and putting them in there because i don't like to hang clothes as you can see all the empty <laughs> all the empty hangers I don't like to hang up clothes but I am doing laundry so don't don't judge me but outside of that you guys that's pretty much all the updates that I have for you guys if you want to see like my master bedroom my living room I have videos I'll link them down below 
and hopefully we'll be doing some finished room tours if not the full house tour here really soon so don't forget to subscribe make sure you give this video a thumbs up for more home decor updated videos and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys